If you need to lay out elliptical backing for a cove of some sort, you could go to Wikipedia and look at the 15 ways they do it and risk your brain exploding, but there's a better way. Dave Ferry from Silver Spring, Maryland has sent us a technique where you can lay out an accurate ellipse every time using a stick, two nails, and a pencil. Here's how he does it. All right, so here's our ceiling, and here's our wall, and you could just do a simple radius right here, and that would just be part of a circle and you'd get a center point and swing an arc. But this is fine home building, and we're gonna do something that's more complicated. We're gonna make it an ellipse, so it's gonna come out here and start, and it's gonna come down like that. So we can't simply swing an arc, we have to figure out something that actually has two different distances to its center point. Now, let's take a look at an ellipse. An ellipse has a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. And we're going to label this point A, the center is point B, and this is C. Now actually there are two center points in a an ellipse, we're not going to go there, and we're going to look at it this way. We need to know this distance, AB, we're going to call this the rise, and we're going to call this the run. Now what we're going to do is transfer these two distances to a trammel, and then you'll see how we're going to draw this line. So here's our stick, a trammel, really, and it represents the the, the rise and the run that we just talked about in our drawing. So AB is the rise, here's A, here's B, that's that distance, and here's BC, that's the run. Now, I've got a pencil that's uh, extending through the bottom of our stick, and I've got a couple of nails that are at point A and point C. Notice how the nails extend a little bit further. That's because they're gonna ride on the side of our workpiece here, and this is gonna ride on the top of it. That's why they're at different elevations. Let's see if we can make this work. We line it up on the vertical edge of our workpiece to start. And the goal is we're gonna take this with the nails in constant contact with the edge of our plywood workpiece here, and we're going to, this is gonna end up along this edge. And the nails have to always be in contact with the edge of the workpiece. That's, that's the rule. Cool. This is a great idea. You know, you don't have to just use this tip for making backing for a cove ceiling or a cove any other place. You can double them and make it into an archway. There's all kinds of applications for this trick. Dave, thanks for sending it. It's a great idea. Yeah.